so we are doing the anthem uh, which is very simple so I'll keep it short and the basic chord progression is from a 6 to a 7 to a 1 and then we go to a 2 then a 6 then a 5 I think that's the beginning, alright? From the six, seven, then a one, then to a two, a six, then a five. Okay, then the next one will be a four, a six, five. So this will be the whole song, then a 4, a 6, and a 5. So it depends on where you are playing, if it's a worship then you know how to play and to drive it a little. So there are a very version of it, but let's get to it. So the first chord is a 6 to a 7, then a 1. So let's just do that. So that is a, a six, but we are playing the the four source two. Um, so this is the six in the key of F and the four, but we play the source two. Uh, the source four. Okay, so that will be a B flat, C, and F. Then we move that very same chord by a tone. Okay, so you move the tone by a tone, uh, a whole tone. That'll give you C. You move the C, then you move the F, and that'll give us the seven. But to you know, to make it a little fuller, you can add a G on your left hand when you play the A. And that brings us to the one. Okay, so the one, two, is just any one that I prefer by here. I'm having the C, F, G, A, and C. Uh, if mm, you don't have the wider fingers to play this, you can either let go of this C or this C, any of them will do. And your right hand is the F, C, and F. So that's a the power chord on your right hand okay so we have okay so when you play that you can take the same chord one here up oh, but this time around you you pull it your pigeon is from now oh, you can go upwards or you can just Lower it, okay. So, okay, then we go to the two. Okay, now I use this G and A as my leading tones to get to the two. When I'm playing the two here, it's uh, trying to play the Two should be a minor chord, okay? So here it will be the G minor chord, all right? But I'm trying to add a seventh to it. Now, the seventh of the G minor, okay? That's it. Now, this is G and F will be the seventh of that G. So I bring it on the right hand. So the, mi uh, the minor seventh of G is like playing the, the four over the two. So this is the four B flat. E and C, uh, F, then this is the 2, which is the G, so playing the 4 over the 2 gives you the uh, G minor, right? Yeah, so um, I inverted uh, to the first inversion, but I used the, 
A, G as leading tones, okay? So I have my G here, I have my D here, and F2 is here, and the B flat is so it's here. So that leaves me a lot of room to arpeggio my my left. Okay, so then to a C. Okay, so on the 6 to <laughs> the major 7 of the 1. Okay, so here is the thing. Uh, I can substitute the 1 for the 6, right? So any chord in the 1 can be played on the 6. Okay. So here I'm playing the major 7 of the 1 over the 6. But in this inversion, I bring the C here. I bring the E here. Okay. So that's and I play a normal five. Okay, so this one is C and G. Okay. C E G and and add the C the octave of C. So if it's wider for you, you can play this, so you can play this, okay. Alright, so Let's start from the beginning, so the song starts from 6. So that's a, the arpeggio I do on my left hand is uh, on the over the 2 is the 2, D, uh, with the G, and the D, C. Uh, G again, then I add the A and B flat. Now here, if you can't stretch your arm after playing the D, you can let go of this one. Then you can move your fingers. But if it's Y, okay. All right, then. Now, uh, I was playing, the chord is on C, right? Now, what I was doing here is uh, playing the sus 2 of C. This is C. Now, if to play the sus 2, you have to move this uh, E to the D. Okay, so I was just up it during there. So, Go back to the same program. Okay, so that will be the first part. Now the second part is you go to the four, then the six to the five, okay, to the six, to the five, and that's a nice jump you've got in there. Okay, so um, just the, on the four, I'm playing B flat and F on my left hand, then B flat, C, D, and F. So there's a B flat major chord. I'm just adding the two to it. Okay, and then I'm instead of um, because there's D here, I don't have to play a lot of my, uh, notes on my left hand, so I'm playing all the B flat and. F then that leads to the six 
Tu le fais. The same thing. Then go back. Okay. Now, that will be the song. So you can jam over there now. There's something I want to teach you a little. A little thing you can do on, within this progression. Now the first thing is uh, when you start from the six. So when you're done with your first line, six, seven, one. Before you go to the two, you can play this chord. Okay. Now here's the thing. Yeah. The melody that we play, we play this. Okay. So you can play diminished chords over this melody. Okay. So we can play. Oh, you can even play just the normal. Okay, let's do the normal way. Uh, not diminish too much, sorry. So this will be just playing, harmonizing the melody, okay? Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, I'm playing the G minor, but in a first inversion, okay? And I'm playing the F. In second inversion, which is C, F, and A, I'll, I just want to have the top notes being A, then I can play my chord. Now, um, another relationship you can have here is uh, sometimes when we are playing the three, okay, the three chord, we can play the one over the three, okay. Now, um, when you look at the three is a minor chord, and the two that we are playing is also a minor chord. So you can find the the, the key with which uh, um, the two here is a third of. Okay, in this case, E flat. So you can play the E flat over the two in this contest. So it's not that even becomes easy for you. So you draw from flat five to the six to the five. Okay, so here the flat five and uh, the flat seven, you will play uh, the same chord over the flat seven. But if you look at it properly, okay, this is the flat seven, this is its major chord. You can add the two to it, right? But look here. Uh, if you're supposed to add a seventh to it, it will be the D, right? So you bring the D into the chord, and we have the chord that we are playing this D, F, G, and B flat. So it makes it fit perfectly. Okay. Now, when you play this chord, uh, there's something other thing you can do is. Uh, no, you can have the C in both hands, then you can roll from B flat. Where the, uh, the left hand is playing B flat, the right hand will play G. Then you drop each of them to F and A to G and E, alright? So it will be sound like. So that will be the first part. Then you can even use the flat six, uh, six to lead it back to the six. Okay. Now 
this thing that we did over the two, you can do it for every chord you are playing. Just know your top, the top notes, then you can use uh, the notes on that particular scale to it. Sorry. So as me, I'm going to the one, I'm playing this inversion, and then the top note is A. I can play the F and A. You are playing, let's say, the five. This inversion, you know, your top note is E. You can play C, D, or uh, G, F, and E, right? All right. Three. So that brings X to the second part. The four, six, and the five. So uh, if they are singing this song for long, this course might feel one way for you, so you have to add something, you have to do something on it, right? Now, the first thing you can do is you can use a turn around. Okay, so I'm just playing the five over the seven, which is E, C, D, C, E, and G on my right. Then the F, my left hand, then I play the C, F, and A. Then I go back to the same chord I played. Then here you can either play the A or the C over this inversion of the one. Okay. Going to the six, okay. You can use the same melody. All right, so that's very simple for beginners and. There will be a part two of this where a lot of stops will come in, okay, where... Alright, so that will be all. It depends on the song. Sometimes it should be a driven, okay, how you do. Depends on what they were sending. 